All right, so here's your relation and function lesson uh, for pre-algebra. So I'm just going to talk about, before we get into the numbers, just kind of in general, um, we're just going to compare a couple things. We're going to talk about why these are relations and why they're functions. So we're just going to talk uh, about girls liking boys. So we're going to have the girls are going to be what are said to be the input. So they're going to be on the left-hand side. And the boys are going to be what are said to be the output. So in terms of math, what you're going to hear is talking about x values. That would be the girls. Y values would be the would be the boys. So all a, all a relation is is just it has an input and it has an output. So all the examples I show you here, these are all relations. So um, the girls are the input. The boys are the output. So here's an example. You have one, two, three, five girls, and each girl likes exactly one boy. So Julie likes Lucas, Katie likes Caden, Meredith likes Bob, Stella likes Gavin, and Abigail likes Ben. This is considered a function, which I'll define on the, on the notes page. This is a function because each girl likes exactly one boy. Okay, So that is an example of a function. Example two is also an example of a function, still talking about boys and girls. This one looks a little different, though, but it is still a function because we have Lucas is a popular boy. So there are three girls that all like Lucas, Julie, Katie, and Meredith. But each girl likes exactly one boy. It just so happens that all three of these girls like the same boy, but that's okay, right? Each girl likes exactly one boy, and then we have Stella that likes Ben and Abigail that likes Gavin. This is also a function. Example three, though, is not a function, and here's why. A function is where each input, or in our example, each girl must like exactly one boy. Well, Julie likes Lucas. That's okay. Okay, that's still a function. I'll go to skip over down here to Abigail. Abigail likes Ben. So, so far, each girl likes exactly one boy, but Meredith likes three boys. She just can't make up her mind. This is not a function because Meredith has, Meredith goes to three boys, not just one. Okay? So there's kind of an example with girls liking boys. Mathematically, what is it? Well, here's your the notes page that I will post, uh, that you will have posted on your home page. All right. So let's define some things. And then we'll just go through some of these. We're going to talk, and then we're going to look at some graphs, too, This what's said to be this vertical line test. So a relation is just to set an input and an output. Okay, You're going to see it in terms of numbers. I showed you an example where we had girls and boys. Right? Girls were the input, and boys were the output. So everything I showed you on the previous examples, those, all three of those examples are relations. A function is a relation where each, each input, in our example, girl, has exactly one output. In our example, I talked about one boy. So each girl has to have exactly one boy. That's an example of a function. And then the vertical line test is if geometrically, which we'll talk about, I'll show you some examples, is if a vertical, a vertical, and that's verticals up and down, a vertical line passes through, through, learn how to spell, more than one point, okay? So it's basically, can you just draw a straight line up and down? If it passes through one more than one point, then it, if it, passes through more than one point, it's not a function. Okay, If it passes through just one point, it is a function. I'll do a few of those as well. Okay, So we're going to talk about relations, functions, and, and the vertical line test. I'm going to skip the graphs until the end. So we're going to go to this first one, and you're going to hear me again talk about boys and girls. So in, these, in our example, you're going to see a lot of x's and y's. So here, in this example, they're asking, is this a function? Well, you just look across, and here's the, another shortcut you could do is, do we have more than one x that goes to a different y? Well, I'm good with one to two, three to negative one, four to four, but then I have this five. If you want to think of it in terms of girls, here's a girl, 
that likes two different boys. This 5 likes the 6 and likes the negative 3. So this is not a function because we have two x values. Okay, so there's an example of not a function. All right, next one. I'm going to be pretty quick with these. It's just a matter, and you'll want, the more you do it, you'll, you'll get the hang of it. So here, 1x value, 1x, uh, if I look at all my x values, all my inputs, they're all different. So this, yes, this is a function. Okay, keep going. I'm going to go right here. I could stop right here because I see two zeros. They go to different y values. So zero likes one, zero also likes negative one can't happen okay so this would be no next one a little different form but really all they've done is taken that table and put it in ordered pairs I go through my x values I see two negative twos because of this right here negative two goes to six negative two also goes to zero that is a no not a function go to the next one I see negative four negative two zero one two all different all my x's are different, they all go to a, a y value, that is a function. Next one, I see, let's see, I'll push this up, I see negative 1, 1, negative 11, negative 2, negative 3, all different x values, that is a function. All right, let's see what else we got here. On the last page, do a couple more, one more of these, and then I'll show you the, the vertical line to... All right, let's see. It looks like I have 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, all different x values. So this is absolutely a function. Okay, each x has exactly one y. Now, the vertical line test is basically a vertical line. If it has more, if it goes through, so I can draw all these, I can show you with this. If you draw a vertical line, notice that you have two different x values. Okay. This is, would be like the point negative 3, it looks like. Negative 3, maybe a little bit around 2. And then we have negative 3 down here. We have two x values here. All the way across, each of these have two x values. So this is not a function. Or using that test, it goes through the graph more than once. This, on the other hand, is a function. Because it only goes through one point. Right, when I draw a vertical line. Now, I've drawn many vertical lines. You really only need to draw one. I draw many, but you really only need one. If it only goes through at one spot, you're good. So this one is a function. This one again, this little arc. If I draw a vertical line, it will never go through twice. This one is a function. Let's see. Got that. All those. So we have two more graphs. Well... Here's my question to you. Can you look at these two and tell me which one is a function and which one's not? Because one is, and was it, one is it. Well, example one is. All right, if you look down that list, look across that curved line there. It's never going to go through twice. No matter where I draw a line, it only passes through one time. Okay, so this one is. And the last one, I could do one here. Draw a vertical line there. I could draw one there. Those pass through twice. Those have two x values. All right, here's your x value, and it goes to this y value, and it goes to this one down here. So it likes, this x likes two y values. So this one is no. That is your relation and function guided notes.